Hi, welcome to the Western Region Market Watch, brought to you by RBI, Real Estate Business Intelligence, an MRIS company. We're going to dig into the most recent numbers from the Western Region housing market, which includes the counties of Allegheny and Garrett in Maryland, Grant, Hampshire, Hardy, Mineral, and Pendleton in West Virginia, and Clark, Frederick, Shenandoah, Page, Warren, and the city of Winchester in Virginia. Let's jump right in. After several months of comparing to the 2009 and then 2010 tax credit periods, we're finally comparing two non-incentive markets. And it shows. Some metrics showed positive gains, but it's not all roses and sunshine quite yet. There was an important dynamic occurring at this time last year. As purchase demand was shifted forward into spring, sales and prices responded favorably. When the incentive expired, sales levels dropped. Therefore, favorable movement in May of this year could have more to do with a drop-off last year than a sudden uptick this year. But it's good to see some plus signs swirling around. Pending sales were up 49% from May 2010 to arrive at 380 for the month. While this does suggest improving consumer confidence, it's important to watch what happened from April to May of last year. Inventory decreased 8.9% to 3,977 units. Inventory levels are preparing to round off their seasonal peak. Aggressively priced homes should start to see quicker market times as a result. Prices were still a tad soft, which partly suggests value-minded consumers were still hunting around for bargains. The median sales price was down 7.3% from May 2010 to $143,625. Month supply of inventory was down 2.1% to 13.1. That means market forces moved toward balance. Even though we couldn't move the price needle this time, prices should soon reflect this improving trend. So what does this all mean? I'm glad you asked. The market currently has enough homes to meet the next 13.1 months of buyer demand. But sales are constantly leaving the market, while listings are constantly entering the market. Over time, we've developed a set of expectations. A typical seller would like to move within two to four months of listing their home. That's why one to four months is considered a seller's market, five to six months is considered balanced, and more than six months is a buyer's market. In related news, the national interest rate dropped to 4.88% on a 30-year fixed, while the unemployment rate snuck up to 9.1% in May. The economy added 54,000 jobs, which was far less than April and less than most analysts expected. We'll need at least 200,000 jobs per month for a sustained period in order to curb unemployment. But positive change is occurring. Stronger job growth and improved consumer confidence is needed to keep the ball rolling. That's the Western Region Market Watch for this month. Check back next month for the latest.